Hey guys, it's Samantha here with The Daily Fit Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious pesto chicken zucchini noodle dish. Hello, hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I am so pumped on cooking chicken pesto zucchini noodles right now. I am starving, like so hungry. I need my chicken, I need my zucchini noodles, and it is so, again, so simple to make, you guys. Like, all my recipes are super, super easy, and not only that, they taste really good. Like, working out, staying in shape, eating healthy. It is healthy, but everyone thinks that eating healthy means bland, boring, disgusting. No, absolutely not. I could not live this lifestyle, my lifestyle in general is not bland and boring, so my food definitely cannot be bland and boring. I'll get sick of it and just, ugh, life's too short. So I'm making chicken pesto and zucchini noodles. Now, I don't eat a lot of pasta in my diet. Um, I don't like eating a lot of heavy carbed meals, like carbs like that. I'll get my carbs from veggies, like sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, asparagus. Like I'll get it from my veggies versus eating a full dish of just pasta and carbs. That stuff just sits in my belly. It makes me just feel ugh. So zucchini noodles are delicious. And they, they definitely, like to me, like eating those, I'd take those over pasta any day of the week now. Like they just taste good, they're easy, and it's like, it's a pasta, like it really is. Like you just start cooking it and putting it in your diet more and more often and that's what it is. So I'm gonna jump into my kitchen right now and let's get going. Starting off with our ingredients, here we have chicken breast. You'll need one chicken breast for this recipe along with two zucchini. So if you're making this for more people or you want food for the next day lunch or dinner, just double up on this recipe with two chicken breasts to four zucchini, you know the drill. And then you're gonna have your basil pesto sauce. This can be difficult to find in stores. I know I buy this all the time and I still have to look for it and sometimes ask somebody for help. So don't worry to ask somebody for help to find it. Then you're gonna have your olive oil. I totally recommend using olive oil only for this because any type of other oil is gonna make your zucchini taste funky. Then you have your salt and a lot of garlic powder. And your number one important thing that you need for this is a veggie spiralizer. This thing is so awesome. This is going to cut up your zucchini to look like spaghetti. You can also use this for other veggies like carrots and Gosh, I don't even remember what else I've used this for, but it's awesome little tool to have in your kitchen. Now I'm gonna start off with prepping my chicken, and first thing that I always do is cut off extra fatty pieces and little bone pieces that sometimes are still stuck to the chicken in the package. I've just always done this my whole entire life since I started cooking, so it's just a habit for me. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna chop it up with scissors directly into the pan. Again, I don't know when I started doing this, but ever since, I've just never gone back to cutting chicken any other way because it's such a hygienic way to do it. Like you're not getting the chicken, putting it on a board, cutting it up with a knife and having to scrub that board later. It's just such a more cleaner way to get chicken from your package to the pan. So here I am prepping two pieces of chicken. I'm gonna eat only half of this with this serving that I'm cooking now. Then we're gonna add your pesto sauce. Use a teaspoon and you don't need a lot. Basil pesto sauce is pretty potent, so you don't need a lot. So I just put on one tablespoon or a teaspoon and then usually either a second one or maybe half of a second one depending on how much chicken I'm cooking. And then I just mix it all around to make sure all the chicken is decently covered with the sauce. And then I'm just gonna let that simmer. So just make sure you mix it all up so everything's covered and then we're gonna get started on the zucchini noodles. I'm gonna use my olive oil. Just pour that a little bit directly into a pan so the zucchini doesn't stick. And then, this is the fun part, you're gonna grab your spiralizer and turn on your stove and start spiralizing the zucchini. Now this is the fun part. I love doing this. It's like, yee, cutting it up. <laughs> Zucchini has such amazing health benefits and it's so filling like having a bowl of just zucchini noodles with chicken is just such a yummy meal 
And the next day, I swear, your stomach, you just like wake up looking really flat. I'm like eating real pasta, you wake up kind of bloated. So it's just such a good alternative and it's so delicious. And here we have two zucchinis, finally all spiralized up in there. And this is really quick and easy to cook. So usually I'll start my chicken first and then start on the zucchini after because the zucchini does cook faster than the chicken. Now we're gonna just put in a ton of garlic powder. Garlic powder and salt. Just put in splashes of salt. Put in more garlic powder. Like, garlic powder is life. I love it. And that's all you really need for the zucchini noodles. I don't like to add anything more because it just, it just doesn't need it. It just tastes good like that. And you're gonna get a lot of flavor from your chicken pesto. So then I'll just go over to the chicken pesto, mix that up, make sure the chicken is all cooked through thoroughly. If you haven't cooked chicken before or you're just not used to cooking chicken like this, um, you can always just take a piece and like cut it in half to make sure it's cooked on the inside. That's what I used to do when I first started cooking. And there you have it. Then you can just go ahead and plate the zucchini. You'll know when it's ready, when it's kind of that very soft texture and you can cook you can cook zucchini to whatever style you want you can have it al dente you can have it a little crunchy you can have it super soft so just watch it as you go and use a fork to try and test it out and see how you like your zucchini cooked and then we just add the chicken pesto on top of that um, some days I will just dump the chicken directly into the zucchini noodles and mix it all up kind of like a stir fry but today I'm just putting it on on top and there you have it another quick and easy meal that's absolutely delicious and healthy for you. Isn't that delicious? You guys should go to the store, get the ingredients right now or sometime this week and make this recipe. And if you do, make sure you post it on Instagram and tag me, tag the Daily Fit Girl, just so I know that you're cooking it up and so I can like check out your recipes. Did you add other stuff? Did you do something different? Did you change it up? Let me know. All right guys, well give this video a likes, likes, a likes up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Write any comments below about questions or anything you want regarding this video. And of course, make sure you subscribe. You know what to do. I'll see you guys next week. Delicious Bye. chicken zucchini noodle pesto. This delicious, delicious dish. Please let me know in the comments below and make sure you like it.